Hi, ladies. Welcome to my weekly um, YouTube live. I'm Julie Gilson, and I'm with um, StampinGala.com, and I'm happy that you're here. I'm playing with some new stamps, uh, new stamp set and bundle today. It's called the Carousel Horses, and I just love it. Let me grab the stamp set. I can find it. Here is the stamp set that I'm working with today, and I'm using the coordinating dies. So if you um, are new to my channel today, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And also, if you're here um, returning, thank you so much for joining me. Um, as I said, I have cute little cards here. This one happens to be a shaker card, and I think, I think you'll like it. It's a lot of fun. And then this one is a little bit different, too. I like this one as well. It looks like it has a little awning, so I, I hope you like it too. And then finally, I have a treat box, and I have some coordinating treats in here, okay? But before I get started, I do want to point out I um, have a new Zoom class that I'm doing on the 7th, I believe it is, and it's our birthday book that it's a kit class. It looks like this. This real cool um, birthday book. And I didn't decorate the inside. You can decorate it how you want, but it has different um, pockets so you can have birthday cards in here so you don't forget anybody's birthday. Um, it does come with a number of cards that you can make. However, I stepped them up a little bit and these are the cards that I made. So to participate in this class on Zoom, all you have to do is um, by purchase the birthday book from me um, online, and I do have a flyer on it on my Facebook page and in my newsletter, and also the ribbon that goes this ribbon here because that's not included in the in the um, kit. So anyway, I show you how to make three different alternate cards, and I like these better than the ones in the kit. So I hope you do too. So if you're interested, just let me know and I can um, get you the information, the flyer, so you can go ahead and join me as well. And um, I do want to mention, since I have an audience here, um, a lot of people sometimes say they don't get my newsletter. If you go to my blog at stampingala.com, um, usually there's a pop-up for my newsletter. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, do so on that pop-up because each week I do the newsletter and I have a new card with the free PDF. And this is the card from this past week, actually yesterday. Okay. And then also if you would, on the right hand side of the blog, um, if you're on a computer, otherwise you have to scroll down on your phone, there's a place to sign up for blog posts. So it's two different signups. So make sure you do that so you don't miss anything. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started because they take a little bit of time today, especially this one. So I'm going to start with this one first. So let me grab this. It has a number of pieces. All right. So this is, um, oh, and by the way, I do have the PDF re written already because today, as you know, is the um, free shipping day. So I wanted to get this out right away. So in case there's something you want to get. Um, you don't miss out on the free shipping. Okay, so this is 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. So let me grab my bone folder. This is running. Okay, um, so just go ahead and get a, give it a good burnish on the fold. Okay, and then what I did here is I have a piece of basic white and I cut out this opening and I use the country corners dies, which are these right here. So I use the third largest to cut this out. After I cut it out, then I embossed it. Don't emboss it first because if you boss, emboss it first and then cut it out, what happens is it'll flatten a lot of this embossing that you did. So anyway, that's what I did here. So there's a couple of steps that we need to do to get this to make it into a shaker card.
So anyway, I'm just going to use my tear and tape here on the back. And I have to cover up this window with a window sheet. Okay? If you don't have window sheets, you can use different um, pieces that you might have saved from your stamp sets, actually. For the photopolymer stamp sets, you can use those sheets as well. As long as they're not all messed up. Okay, so we got this. You wouldn't believe the day I had today. I did this three times before I got it right. Okay, so we're going to take this off here. Also, ladies, the um, kit special is coming to an end as well. I've had quite a pe few people join my team this month, both directly under me and also um, on my team. So if you're interested, I'd love to talk to you about it. And what, what you get is $155 in product for $99. Okay? So there you go. There's the window. So now what we have to do is take some, um, we have these little doodads that are like dimensionals, but they're long strips. We sell them in the catalog. I'm using some from a kit that we had just to use these up, but they're the same thing. So you're kind of, I'm just going around the window part, the opening, so just so it doesn't show. And the reason I'm doing that is because we have to trap the shaker stuff in. Now I'm using the silver, loose silver sequins, but you can use anything you have, even small beads or um, you can punch things out. You can even add a little bit of glitter. And glitter would be pretty in here, especially since they're carousel horses. Now, I need one, another small little piece, because if I don't put something there, it will, um, the stuff will escape. Okay. God, it may be a little bit too much. Okay, so we have this. So we have it all the way around. So now what I'm going to do is take off the top. Oh, no, I'm not going to take it off the top layer yet until I put the stuff inside. Otherwise, it could stick. So, ladies, like I said, if you're new, make sure you let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And who took advantage of the free shipping today? I'm going to when I'm done here. Okay, so now I'm taking off all of these, the top of the dimensional things. And what I'm going to do for the background, I'm using the DSP, the Subtles, in the bubble bath with the tiny little hearts. It's so cute. It's perfect for this. I just have to get this one done. Okay. All right. So I have this piece right here. And this has these little tiny hearts on it. And it's so cute. Okay. And I'm just going to lay this carefully on here. And you lay it face down for the, the pattern that you want. See? And then it shakes. Okay. Now, um... What I'm going to do is just put some glue on the back of here. And I could put dimensionals, but I think I have enough on here. Okay, so now we have a piece of, um, this is pool party. So we're going to back this. And I want to make sure I 
when I put it on my card, I want to make sure. Oh, it's got hearts going both ways. So we're good. Okay, so that's perfect. I am going to trim it just a tiny bit. Hey, Kristen. Kristen, did Marianne tell you about our shoebox swap day? Okay, so here we go. We have this. Now what I'm going to do is put this on my card here. I think this is so cute. Okay, so there we have that. So that's not too hard. Okay, so now I'm going to do some stamping. Are you guys going to be able to make it, Kristen? Okay, so I'm going to stamp the large horse. And I'm using Memento or Memento. And I'm also using, going to stamp this. And this is the pole. Okay. So to save time, I did already cut these out because we do have dies to match. So I'm going to show you how I colored these. All right, so I am using, let me see, Bubble Bath, um, Melon Mambo, and I'm using Pool Party. <coughs> okay, so anyway, we're going to start off, we're going to start off with the, um, let me see, we'll use the Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to color in the saddle here. Now we have another stamp if you wanted to um, instead stamp it, but I like to color it. Now I started with the Melon Mambo light. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the dark and just add a little bit of dark on here. Oh, you know what? I left that part off. That's okay. I'll just get this in here. Just to do some highlighting. Okay. I really like these, this combo as well. Now, last week, I told you that my sister was signing up, and she's already been over, made lots of cards, and getting ready for her blog to be released. So I'll let you know when it is so you guys can check her out and see what pretty cards she makes. Okay, now this is bubble bath that I'm going in between. I 
and here as well. And then what I'm going to do is come in with Pool Party right here. And I'm going to now have you all seen the um, color lifter? Because I did go over a little bit here. So I can just take this color lifter right here and get this out of here. Just clean this up a little bit. It works really well. All right, I'm going to go in with the light pool party. This is really light. Okay, and back with the dark. Okay, so here's this pretty horse. Isn't it pretty? All right, so now we're going to do this little hole here. So we're going to start with the Melon Mambo. All right, and I'm going to alternate the colors here. I'm going to switch to the other side. So I'm skipping every two because I'm going to add other colors in here. Okay, I'm going to go back to um, the pink, the, the um, what do you call this, bubble bath. Really simple. And finally, pool party. Dorothy, did you get my message that I left you? Okay, so we got that done. So what we're going to do now is take this little pole. And I think I'm going to raise it a little bit higher, just like, well, maybe not, just right here. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of here. You don't want a lot because you don't want to get it all over your window sheet here. And center it just like that. Now, okay, so then here is the base, and I'm going to put this down right here, but I'm going to put this on dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals, and I'm going to cut the sides a little bit to make sure that they don't show. And I'm going to put one on each end because I want it to kind of go over the pole. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, right here. All right, so now we're going to put the horse on, and we're going to put this on like this. And I'm putting it a little bit further down because I'm going to change the bow to the top. Hey, Trisha. I love this stamp set, and I didn't think I would, but I really do. Okay, so I like it on an angle like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is grab my ribbon and tie a bow. 
And this is this really pretty ribbon. It is in the um, combo pack. You get this color. You also get lemon lolly and azure afternoon. And it's so pretty. Okay, so let me grab my glue dots. Make this a little smaller. And then, of course, I got to trim it again. I know it, Nicole. I didn't even realize it till after I made these projects. So this is why I wanted to put it a little bit lower so the bow can be at the top. Okay. <clears throat> I also want to add some little iridescent pearls. I think these are so pretty. I'm going to put one right here on the saddle. I didn't do this on the other one but I am for this. And I'm going to add a couple right on the window sheets. Okay. So here is your first project, your little shaker card. All right. So we're going to do the inside. Okay, so let me see. We're just going to stamp one of these smaller horses. Right here on the bottom. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and color this in really quickly. Try and do all of this at once. Doing it a little bit differently than the other one. <coughs> yes, we are, Wendy. Um, I have a doctor appointment as well as another appointment. So it'll be somewhere around one o'clock. I hope that works for you. Okay, so I am just going to do every other one here so I can add some pink in here as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this together and your first card is done. So what time is it, Patty? I wonder how long it took to do this shaker card. Oh, it took a while. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to put this on the inside and your first project is done.
Okay, there you go. I like the bow better at the top. I hope you do too. Okay. Um, Trisha, the colors are Melon Mambo. Um, the code stock is Melon Mambo, Pool Party, and um, Bubble Bath. Okay, so here is your second card. And this is really cute. It has this little awning, and I'm going to show you how we did that as well. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, and this is the same orientation, the 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at um, 5 and a half. All right. And then what we have here are two pieces. We have the pool party. And we have the basic white, and I did emboss this with the exposed brick. But before I put these two together, I want to show you this. This is from our delightful um, eclectic um, DSP, and it's three and a half, the same as the width here, by one and three quarters before <clears throat> I trim this. And what I did with this, I took this die, which is in the carousel horses and I ran it through the die cutting machine like that to get the scalloped edge okay then I scored it I put it in the score this direction I scored it at one half and then one and an eighth and let me see what and one and a half okay so this is how what I'm gonna do to get the little awning so I'm folding this part down and then this part up. And this will go under. You don't really even need this part, but, and that's how I, I created that. So we're going to put some glue here. So if you wanted to, you could just cut it off there, but I didn't. So let me get that down, okay? All right, so then this is the only part that's going to be glued down. So we're going to put some glue on here. And this is why I didn't want you to put it down yet, so we can make sure we get it exactly how we want it. Right here. Okay, so... Get it right to the top and side to side, make sure it's even. And then just give it a good burnish there and then see it, it will come up like that. All right, so now we can put this down. Okay, so it looks like that, and then it's going to go on your card base. Just like that. Okay, so now I have a stitch circle. And also, I did use the layering circles that are no longer available. But if you place an order with me um, by Saturday, it was $40 or more, you get this in your um, make and takes anyway. But please make sure you use this host code. And if you want free shipping, you have to do it today. And free shipping has to be an order of $75 or more. So I'm going to use this blending brush and also my pool party ink. And I'm just gonna tap it on here and just add some color to this circle. Okay. All right, then I'm going to glue these two together. Okay. 
okay? And then this will go down right here. And just make sure it's centered from side to side. All right. Then what we're going to do is, um, oh, I stamped one of the horses. So we're going to color this really quickly. And this time I did color the horse um, pink with the um, bubble bath. doesn't take long. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and color these in. So I'm done with that. I'll take the Melon Mambo, and this is the Melon Mambo Light. I'm trying to be careful here. And you know what? I missed the horse's head. So I got to come back with that anyway. So I don't think it should be a different color than the body. Okay, and let me see. Is that my phone or your phone going off? It is? Ladies, remember to share this video if you like what you see. Um, Dorothy, this is the um, Carousel Horses. All right, and one last thing will be the, the pool party. Um, Tina, no, I did not. This one's drying out on me. Okay, so this one's done. So we're gonna put this up on dimensionals. So go right here and try and get it straight. Then I have an additional little stand here. This almost looks like a one of those snow globes. Were you? I can't wait for my sister to get started. She's been really, really diligent and being here every day and um, getting doing whatever I ask her to do to get her business going. So I'm anxious for her to to get going. And we're just waiting on the blog to get um, back to us. Oops, I didn't take this off. Okay, so we're going to tie another bow. Trisha says, hi, Patty. Hi, Trisha. Okay. 
after putting in 43 years at General Motors, this is a nice welcome, isn't it, Patty? Yes, with a lot nicer people. Yeah, and more fun. Okay, we're going to put this at the top. And then we're just going to add a few of the real cute um, iridescent pearls. We'll put one here. Oops. And here. I always try to do them in odd numbers. Okay, so here is your second card. They want to know if you tie bows like me. <laughs> Uh, not as well yet, but I'll get there. Oh, yeah, she will. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just um, do the inside here. And I think with this, um, do we have a happy birthday? It's over there. I'm just going to stamp happy birthday, and I'm going to do it in Melon Mambo. And I'm going to make sure... Okay, now I hope I can get this straight. Looks straight to me. <laughs> well, it really doesn't, but I'm pretending. <laughs> I have ink on my hand too, so turn this over. This is so cute, this set. I got on today with one minute to spare. All right, it's ready with one minute to spare. I got on right on time. It was crazy. My grandson was here all day, so those days are kind of crazy now. All right, so you want to just pop this up. And when you mail it, it can go flat. You know what? There is not a horn um, in here, I don't believe, but you can always make one. This kind of looks like a unicorn right there. Can you see that horn? All right. So here is your second card. And then finally, we're going to make this right here. But I do want to show you what I picked up today. It's funny that you said that, Courtney, because these unicorn um, snack cakes by Little Debbie. So I'm going to put two of them in and show you how we make those. But let me close this so I don't get ink all over. And I'm going to grab a thing to clean my hands off. Hey, Lisa. All right. So now what we have here. Let me get this out of the way. This is nine and a quarter by seven and a half. And on the nine and a quarter side, it's scored at one and a quarter, four, five and a quarter, and eight. And on the opposite side, it is, or on the, um, when you turn it, it's scored at one and a quarter and six and a quarter. Okay. And Lisa says hello, too. I know, Courtney. My grandson got into them, too, and he liked them. <laughs> yeah, this is um, perfect for this. I ran into Kroger this morning and saw them, and I knew that was what we are going to do today. Okay, so we're going to do some trimming. Uh, thanks, Nicole. So we're going to cut up to the intersecting score line, and all these little squares are going to be the tabs, just like that. And I'll show you when I'm done. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm cutting on the both of the outside of the score lines so you don't see that ugly bump. Let 
And same thing here. So see how those are tabbed? And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I will put the, I got the PDF already written. And I'll put that on tonight as I'm making dinner. <laughs> It's funny, a little while ago I was tired and now I have my second win, so I'm good. Okay, so see how all of them are tabbed. So I'm just going to turn this over. Um, no, Lisa, I'm not making pork chops. I'll make them when you come. She loves my pork chops. Oh, Mom used to do them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put glue here and here, here and here. And these all will come together and it will be the bottom of the box. So we're going to hold that for a second. Same thing here. Ooh. A lot of people, they'll take little um, clothespins, the little baby clothespins, and have it folded so it stays in place. Okay, so these two will go in. I made Lisa pork chops one time and she was here. And so now when she comes, she always has to have the pork chops. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put glue on these last two. And this is going to make the top. <laughs> That's funny, Margaret. It's easy. It really is easy. I make them on the stove, salt and pepper, and you just put them in the frying pan. <laughs> but they taste so good. And then it's how I make the, um, <laughs> I do um, mushrooms and green beans with it in the drippings. It's so good. Okay, so here is the box, and then these will fit in here perfectly, two of them. All right. Yes, they are fried with love, Lisa. Okay, so there's that. And then what we're going to do is take these two pieces, pool party, and this is the um, let me, delightfully eclectic. So isn't this side pretty too? I like that. A lot of times you only like one side. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Goes good on there too. Okay, so we're going to put these together. I guess I'll be making pork chops for you, um, Lisa, when you come. Margaret, I like the thin pork chops, and they don't take long at all. Um, maybe 20 minutes on each side, if that. And then when it cooks down, you want to put some water in there. And it just tastes so good. Okay, so now I have, again, oh, let me tie a bow around this first. Do you see my silver thread back there, Patty? Okay, so this time we're tying this around like this. But I wanted to add... A little bit extra since there's some silver um, thread running through this ribbon I'm gonna take this this is from the simply um, elegant trim and I'm going to tie another bow around here just for to make it look fancier It's funny when um, we were growing up, the neighbor kids 
um, our friends, if my mom made that, our mom, I should say, all the Navy kids wanted to eat over. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks so far. And then I have the two circles here. I'm going to add some color. And remember, if you want these make and takes for free, just place your order by Saturday. But if you want the free shipping, you got to do that today. So I'll post it. I'm going to post the um, products on the blog um, as soon as I get off, even before I get the blog post done. So you'll have that if you want it. Okay, so we have this. We're going to do some real quick coloring on here. I think I'm going to leave this one white, and I'll do the, the mane here and the tail. Okay, we're going to go here, skip two, all right, and then we're going to go ahead with the pool party. All right, and then finally the bubble bath. And I'm going to show you, I'm leaving this, oh, I did one mistake. I'm leaving this horse white, and the other one I colored bubble bath. And I'll show you the difference. Okay, so this is going to go up on dimensionals. Now, ladies, if you would like to um, hear more about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, whether you want um, for business or just for a discount, send me a, a message on my email here or on Facebook, and I'll be happy to um, talk to you about it. It's been great for me. I absolutely love it. And I worked in outside sales for 25 years. And this is much more fun. Hi, Karen. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so this is going to go here, and we'll put some dimensionals on the back. Okay, I'm going to kind of slide this under so that you can't see the top of the pole. Let me close this. We're going to add some little pearls.
I think that's good. So ladies, let me close this up. <coughs> Here are your projects for today. I hope you like them. Here you go. And then here are the shaker cards. I love these little shaker cards. They're so cute. So anyway, I hope you like these projects. It was a sure fun creating them, um, with the exception of messing up a few times. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.